What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a broken chain or cord on your blind. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. Alright guys, so we've got a broken chain here or a beaded chain on our roller blind. Now there's two things that you need to factor in when you're replacing this or repairing it. Number one is the connection because obviously we've got a broken connection here. That's an easy fix, what you need is a little bead connector like this one here. That's not where most people get stuck because this is a pretty simple process. You simply clip it on one side and then you clip it on the other side. Now we've got that joint there. The biggest issue most people will have is once you put the bead connector in and you want to actually operate the roller blind, you can see it goes all the way up. But as we go all the way down, that connection point right there is actually going to get stuck in our control mechanism up on the top. So, as we bring it up there, that won't actually allow it to go any past halfway. So there's a little, two different ways that you can do it, but I'll show you guys a trick so that you can do it a little bit easier. The first way is to remove the whole blind itself, roll it all the way up, and then feed the cord through. However, an easier way to do this is what you want to do, we can remove this chain completely first. Just like that, so now we've got the chain completely removed, we're going to feed it back through there, but you just want to get it to the right point. So what we need to do is roll down the blind manually until it's at a further point, then we're going to have it in our close position. So if we wind this one here all the way down, that's where we're going to pretty much be using it to its maximum point. We're going to just roll it down a little bit further. This one here is a huge grind, so we're going to roll it down past our furthest point. Now what we want to do at this point is we're going to start feeding everything through. So I'm going to get rid of this connector here. We take the little chain or one end of it and if you come up close here you'll be able to see the little teeth that the bead sits on. Alright so I'll try to get my fingers out of the way. All you want to do is just have it sitting on those ridges like that and then you're going to manually take your hand and start winding that roller blind up. It's a little bit hard to do with one hand but you will eventually get there. Wind it up slowly, it will keep going through the actual rolling mechanism until the chain comes out the back end. So I'll quickly start winding this one here up now. And if you have a look at the back there, you can see the chains actually come out. So now we can take that chain, pull it all the way down. So now at this point, we can take our bead connector, clip it on one side, click that one there in, do the same thing on the other side, slides in, and just pull it to the side. This one here is now connected. It's missing its little um, guide here, but we'll replace that later on. Now once we go to operate it, you can go all the way down and this little bead here is going to stop pretty much right there. So that's perfect now. We can also use it the opposite direction so that bead control or the little bead joint that we've got here isn't going to get in the way. It goes all the way up, all the way down. Nice and simple. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's Out too.